Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. You are watching It's So Cute. I mean, like, welcome to the weekend. We are playing Kenyan music. We are keeping it 100% KE. My name is Philin Jin. Of course, I'm hanging out with the one and only DJ Harry So right here. Uko fiti? Uko fiti. Uko fresh. Uko freshy? Yeah. That's I mean, uko freshy barida. Shout out to Eve Nyaga. She couldn't be here today, so I'm here holding her down. Msijali. Atarudi next week, okay? I know you guys are like, rada. <laughs> Kunenda je, but she'll be back next week. She's a little bit under the weather. We're wishing her all the best to that. But they go to her IG, to her all her socials. When they want be a quick recovery, okay? Do that. If you can do that for me, that would be amazing. And of course, we have our first guest right here in studio. He is. He describes himself as a little man with a big voice. <laughs> he is a, a voice. Um, okay, how do you say this? A, a, a voice talent coach, and he's also a voice of an artist. Let's welcome in studio. Uh, All right, let's welcome Henry Mwangangi. Nice, nice, nice. That's what I was looking for. How are you doing this lovely morning? I'm good, morning? I'm good. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you so much for coming through. I'm not, I know it's morning. It's not yeah, it's easy to wake up, but <laughs> we're so glad you could make it. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. All right. I know I introduced you, but I don't think I did you justice so kindly. If you can use camera for, just go ahead and reintroduce yourself to our viewers. All right. I'm Henry Mwangangi, but uh, most people know me as the voice of Henry Mwangangi. I'm a yeah. voice talent, a mm -hmm. voice coach. Um, Sauti ambayo mnasikia kwenye adverts, uh, most of the adverts, I've done most adverts uh, on mainstream media. Wow. Uh, this is the face behind mm -hmm. the voice. The face, the face <laughs> people never get to see. They true, hear the voice. True, true. Right? That is the bad thing about being the voice. Like even movie, uh, the people who do uh, voiceovers for movies, animations, yeah, you yeah. hear really great voices, but you never get to see them. Yeah, yeah. I, I always mention uh, Seth MacFarlane, who is mm -hmm. the, the writer of Family Guy. Mm -hmm. and, and in Family Guy, Seth does over 10 voices. Uh, he does like four mainstream no. voices. True story. He's done that has written the... the the, the the animation mm -hmm. and he also does like four mainstream characters and six more characters but and people people are so familiar with the voice yet they don't know the face they don't know the it. face yeah. even I, I remember regina carter the one who did um this is one of the my favorite animations um the, uh, like the black series, the the one that has okay, she did like uh, three characters. She's a, a lady, but she voiced like three characters. Yeah. Uh, and a voice Machali. Yeah. And Naini Dem. So yeah. they're like, oh, it's like one of my favorite. Like I'll remember within the interview, I'll let you know. Right. One of my favorite, favorite all time like favorite animations ever, Regina Carter. Yeah. So like the voice is, it can be very deceiving. True. <laughs> True. <laughs> it's something I get a lot because the voice is huge. The body yeah. is small. Mm. And you make people <laughs> like, ah, catfish. Catfish. That's why you call yourself <laughs> that. A uh, small man with a big voice. Yeah, that's what I did. All right, so let, um, let's just go back to where it all started. How did you get into voice coaching and, you know, just uh, being a voiceover artist? Uh, I think I've always admired voiceover artists. Mm. I, I grew up listening to people with very distinct voices people like leonard mambo Mbotella. Mbotella. You, you know they, they you are crazy <laughs> it's a very unique voice very, and, very um, unique. kenya has a lot of uh, unique voices voice talents and, and listening to radio citizen kbc mm -hmm. uh, and all those mainstream media when you when you're growing up you grow up sort of admiring the voices and wondering who really are the people behind the voices? So, yeah. and then I realized at a young age that I could do impressions. Mm -hmm. uh, that is where you imitate like someone's voice. You can do impressions. Like, I can try. Ah. <laughs> so when I did realize that, um, th then I studied journalism as well. So. Y you need to do that for us. Like, just like, do something for us. Because that's what we were talking about. In movies, like, you voice the man. Give me the, the seeds, Mori. The, the mega seeds, Mori. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. But um, I, I realized that I could do this while, while in campus. Mainly that's what I started doing it uh, as sort of a career. Mm -hmm. uh, I had a friend, his name is Ray Kim Graphics. He does videos for, you know, adverts and corporate explainer videos. And he used to send me scripts and tell me, you know, can you try and voice this? And then uh, I realized this is something that people do. And then did research 
find people like uh, Mwakazi, Kageni, who are very yeah, huge on very, that. Very, very good. And, and, um, that. and people like Jennifer Canary, who has mentored me throughout the journey. Uh, I don't know if you know Jennifer. I'm sure you've had a voice. The, the person you're calling is not available. Ah, uh, <laughs> Safari call. Yeah, yeah so yeah. She, she's one of the people that has mentored me a lot. Uh, and and. Oh, yeah. so you guys have like a personal relationship, like you know yeah, how you, yes, she has mentored you. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. I, I consult with her often. Oh, that's amazing. Yes. She, she has also a very unique voice, like she very, does. it stands out among many people. Like if you hear her, you'll definitely know her. But the funny thing is that people who actually do voiceovers don't sound like that in real life. Like you would voice something, and then if I put you here and the ad here, you don't sound like that in real life. True, and I, and I think you need to differentiate between voice acting, mm -hmm. voiceover, mm -hmm. and your normal conversational tone. Because you're given a script, you, you're directed, you're given directions mm -hmm. as well. It's like an actor. You don't go putting on your character in, in your day-to-day -day life. Yeah. You will not be walking around <laughs> as, th as the character. Yeah. When you walk, you're, you're the individual. When you get on screen, on set, you're that character. The same with a voice actor. When I'm behind a microphone with the headphones, mm. I'm a different person from the Henry Mwanganyi. Otherwise, people will recognize me. They'll be like, you are the guy that did that I advert. know, right? Then they tell me. Like, like, there's this one, oh, they remember, like the fiber one. It yeah. Was it went viral Very it was everywhere so i can imagine if that that was his everyday voice exactly people barely <laughs> you wouldn't walk <laughs> that is true that's true and, and you spoke about like you studied this when you were in campus so what did you study what do you like do you have to major in anything specific if you want to be a voice actor or a voice over artist like when you like major in that as a career for, for Personally, I, I studied journalism, mm. um, did radio at multimedia, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, it, it's not a must for a voice actor or a voice mm -hmm. talent to have a background in media studies yeah. or journalism. It could just be We, we are drawn uh, from <laughs> different careers. Yeah. People are, we had a lawyer uh, that, was a, that was a voice artist, a very huge voice artist, uh, became a judge. He decided, uh, let me quit this, let me focus on the judge thing. Mm -hmm. So it really boils down to having the talent for it if you have a good voice uh, mm -hmm. that's natural and then the training sessions and you know just understanding the dynamics of the industry but if you have a good voice you can be a voice actor you can be a voice yeah, actor no now, matter what you do for you i know you've done a, you've voiced a lot a lot of projects what can you say are your favorite projects to voice for you which one are easy for you or you like the challenging ones which one can you say uh, like uh when you get that you're like oh this is easy <laughs> i'm gonna love doing this which one do you enjoy the most of course commercials because mm. commercials are very short and they mm. pay they really pay well, lot. yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> nobody wants to strain. Um, but then I do love uh, narrations mm -hmm. and, and documentaries. Uh, it's sort of my passion. Mm -hmm. So if I were to choose, if, if I'm going for the money, the commercials. If I'm going for my passion, it's the narrations and documentaries. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, how do you maintain your voice just to make sure that it does what it's supposed to? So um, I'm going to start with this. So my niece, uh, just the other day, they went for these performances. Yeah. She just doing school. She's in PP1, yeah. but they went and performed, and then her school is one of those that were selected, and they were, they were supposed to go perform for the president's Julini. So the teacher were like, "Don't, don't." The, the teacher told her not to eat sweets, don't True. drink yogurt, and she has taken that to the T. So I go home, come on, and I do how you bribe kids so yeah. i go to my sisters i check her like all the sweet things and she's like i can't have that i'm yeah. like why not we're going to sing for the president the yeah. teacher says no so i assume that is the same thing with you like when you you have uh, you take that as a career and you take it seriously because it pays your bills yeah. what are some of the things you can do or what are some of the healthy things you do to make sure that your voice stays the way it is yeah vocal hygiene it's um, it's like um even for musicians, mm. they, they do practice, they, they keep away from certain things. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things you're supposed to avoid is smoking. Of course, smoking damages your vocal cords. Yeah. So if you are a smoker, if you, you do shisha, sherehe, mm. you, you need to avoid <laughs> kidogo. <laughs> so that if, if you want your voice to maintain that quality. But some people the, do that, imagine, just because they, they want to get the huskiness. So there is that aspect, but in the long run, it's going oh. to be, yeah, yeah. you will get the huskiness, yeah. you'll, you'll have that... Uh, careful joining a voice <laughs> but then, <laughs> but then it's, it's for a short while if, mm -hmm. if you want it for the long run you need mm -hmm. to keep away from from, from smoking 
you, you need to keep away from sugary stuff, like you said, yeah. uh, sweets, um, a lot of sugar. Normally, if you're going to record something, you, you're advised to drink lemon water, warm water for your vocal cords. And just doing regular exercises, like humming, um, uh, tongue rolls, uh, tongue twisters. You, tongue you, guys did twister. you guys did tongue twisters in school. We do tongue twisters today. Ah. <laughs> oh, so that you don't get the accent. So that you, you don't, don't get yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The, b -b 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 the Peter Piper mm. picked a pack of pickled peppers. All right. All that, yeah. So do you have anything you do just right before you start recording? Like I was told for artists, you're supposed to drink a lot of water. Do, during and just before the performance, before you go to perform, you need to keep your throat moist. Yeah. It helps like when you're performing, you, you, your throat doesn't need to be dry. So for you, before you record, are there some things you're supposed to do? Same, same. Mm. Um, I always have with me a glass of, of water in the recording studio mm. so that uh, especially for long form narrations mm. and, and, and you will get to a point and your voice is like dying. It is dying. Uh, yeah. So you need to replenish. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, p p p other things that, that I normally do is just like uh, regular exercises like bra the lip rolls. Oh, yeah. Helps to and then breathing in, breathing out um, helps to, you know, help you relax because you yeah. don't want to go to a script true. on your tense. Mm -hmm. um, generally, uh, understanding your voice, um, mm -hmm. understanding uh, the script as well. Yeah. Normally, um, people, people will hear an advert 30 seconds and think, oh, they had it so easy. It, it yeah, it takes forever. It, 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 can, it, take it a, can take like a whole day. It can take a whole day. To get, it, to get, the, the, to get what they want. Exactly, especially yeah. if you're doing a directed session. Mm. I was doing one for Spotify and I was being directed by my producer from Nigeria. And then it was through, through, um, through a Zoom a video sort of thing. And I, I had only like three lines, took me close to three hours to get them right. Like we don't like the way you've say. said. I uh, honestly understand what you mean. Like I've been there, I've done that. Like you, we booked the whole night just to get Three sentences, right? True. Three sentences. So it makes sense. I totally understand that. All right, and we have a lot to talk about. We yeah. still have a lot to learn. But first, we take a break. We're coming right back. You are watching Is So Cute this morning. My name is Philin Jean, standing in for Eve Nyaga. And of course, I'm hanging out with the one and only DJ Harry So. And we have the guy, our guest. He is the voice. Of Henry Mongangi. The voice of Henry Mongangi. I didn't want to say your name. I, I know you have a tagline. So he goes by the voice of Henry Mongangi. All right, let's take that break. We're coming right back. Stay with us. You're watching Is So Cute. My name is Philin Jin, standing in for Eve Nyaga. I'm with DJ Harry So right here. And on set, I'm joined by one amazing voice of artist. He goes by the voice of Henry Mongangi. <laughs> well, now I know a lot of people are tuned in and I could only want to join the like, what is even voice of our artist? Yeah. What is the voice of our artist? What is voice of our acting? Maybe yeah. you can just give us, you know, a brief, a brief, like, um, understanding of what that is. Oh, okay, my, my layman's explanation of what voice of our is, is uh, it's part of our day to day life. When you walk in Tao, you hear people shouting, Viatu, Viatu, Dawa mm -hmm. uh, Viroboto. <laughs> that so guy is a voice. one that is very distinct, yeah. Viatu Nabe. Yeah, Viatu Nabe, yeah. it's the same voice all it's over the again. Voice, yeah. But that's, um, that's voiceover, literally any, any sort of voice recording that's uh, being uh, broadcast or layered on, on some video clip of, of some sort. Mm. And we hear it every day. It's, it's in the commercials that are played on radio, on TV. It's in your documentaries. It's in your explainer videos. Yeah. It's in the animations you watch. It's in the movie trailers. Exactly. It's everywhere. Uh, but there are people behind those voices. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am one of those. Mm -hmm. Yes. Amazing. I love it. Now, I know you mentioned Family Guy, but who are some of the people that uh, inspire you? Uh, voice of artists that are super great that you're inspired by. All right. Um, in Kenya, we have lots of people that are very talented. Like mm -hmm. I said, Jennifer Kanari is one of those. Mm -hmm. uh, we have um, Makovo Mbatha, who like does for the voice of IEBC. We have guys like um, Ali Mongola, uh, people Mwakazi. Uh, like Mwakazi, mm -hmm. Jeff Koinange, Mainakageni, yeah. Dr. Love of Classic yeah, 105. Dr. Love. Uh, this one, this, this, 
guy, I've forgotten, I don't, I've forgotten his name, but he's a, he's a white guy who does a lot the, the of videos for does, the DJs. Yeah, the one that does the, the drops for, for Radio, radio, radio yes, Africa. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yes, yeah. Okay. Uh, in, in Africa, we have uh, the voice of Abim, who well, I was talking about uh, the guy from Nigeria. We have Chilu Lemba from Zim, who is based in South Africa. Very amazing guy. There is no way you know all these people. I okay. do. Like, you're really <laughs> high in Like, if you told me to, to name anyone outside Kenya, uh, apart from Hollywood, I'm going to be, I'm, I'll start her. I can't even imagine but, you have, a, like, a whole list. I, I was privileged to be part of the Voice of a Conference of Africa last year. Oh, and yeah. we, it was a an opportunity to network with people mm -hmm. that are doing similar stuff in in, mm -hmm. in in africa and right now there's a very huge focus on african voices uh, even with the music afro beats even voiceovers we have a lot of projects coming to to mm -hmm. kenya from hollywood mm -hmm. and um, of course internationally everybody looks up to morgan freeman yes uh, david attenborough Freeman is really, really talented as well. I know, right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, my favorite is the calming voice of uh, Sir David Attenborough. This is the Atacama Desert. <laughs> <laughs> the one who does wildlife. Yes, he yeah. does nature and wildlife. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, there are a lot of people inspire me. Wait, there's also one for football. Yeah, and the one for football. This one Peter, is Peter retiring. Drury, uh, uh, I've forgotten his name, but he's retiring. You've probably known Arab, Arab, Arab Uria. You know Arab Uria, the guy that, that does TikToks imitating the the Peter Dury, the commentator. Yeah, Peter Dury. Yeah. I think he's the one that is retiring, yeah? I have no I idea. I think he's Let me retiring. Not lie to yeah, you. It's, it's, it's I'm, not, I'm not a fan of soccer. <laughs> I don't do football commentation, but I yeah. do know Peter Dury. Mm. And uh, that there are so many amazing people that I, I draw inspiration from. Yeah. And uh, even from right here, when I was working, there's a, a wing of, for, for Leonard Mambo Motella. I said, I said one of the greatest of all times. When it yeah, comes one to of the over, best so. ever to ever do it. Yeah. Like, it's such an, he's an inspiration to so many people. True. Right, and, and I was telling you about uh, Boondocks. You, you yeah, the Boondocks. Right? That's, that's the voice you were talking about. Yes, yes, yeah, Regina yeah, yeah. Carter. You know Regina Carter. I do know. And she voiced Huey and the brother and there's one other character. She played three characters. Fun, no, no, yeah. Funny enough, yeah. um, in most animation animations, you'll find one person doing more than two, three characters, and <laughs> it's, 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 it boils down to having the talent for voice acting. Like, like I did a Rick and Morty impression earlier on. Mm -hmm. uh, the guy that does Rick does both Rick and Morty, and it's the, the uh, oh, the he does both the characters. Yeah, and he's the guy that's written the the, the, uh, the show. The, the show, yeah. Wow. The co-producer. No, I, okay, I didn't know Justin know Roiland. That. I did not know, like, he does both characters. What? He plays yeah. Rick and he plays Morty. Yeah, he's like the drunk grandpa. Like, oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, yes. yes. <laughs> then he's like... I, I, there's someone who told me creatives are mad, and, and, and then now I understand. True. It, it, it makes sense. You have to be a little <laughs> mad. <laughs> even, if, even talking to yourself in the booth, because most of the times I'm alone in my house. Right? With my microphones and yeah. a computer. Mm -hmm. It takes a mad person to do that. I'm talking to the open I'll just go away because you know. <laughs> right, and speaking of that, what are some of the equipments you need? Like, especially when you're starting over, you don't have uh, maybe like um, you don't have enough to make it to a studio, a professional studio for recording sessions, but yep. you want to start maybe you start very small. Yep. What are some of the equipments you need? A phone. Mm. If you have a phone uh, that's <laughs> that, that has a good microphone, yeah, you're good to go. Um, good audio quality does not have to be complicated it mm. boils down to finding a quiet place uh, doesn't have to be soundproof mm. you can use your closet you can use your duvets your pillows as as cushions anything that absorbs that, sound yeah so if you have a good quality microphone and you know how to clean audio even on audio lab there are mobile applications for that mm. but then once you've uh, sort of advanced to maybe you have like 50 G's or 100 G's to mm. spare, mm. you can start with a microphone, a sound card, a, a computer or a laptop and a, and a digital audio workstation or, or an audio editing software like okay. Adobe Audition or Logic or... Amazing. Yeah, so... Because I know like in as much as a phone comes in handy, it also has a little a lot of limitations. True. You cannot record during the day, so you like when I on a chaser, mm -hmm. you start and they're like, ah! Gary, picky picky, all those noises. True. Because the, the mic is going to pick all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The, the, mic, the uh, mobile phone microphone is, is, is not meant for, 
fine <laughs> audio <laughs> recording. So yeah. you, you can improvise. I mean, you can use socks to cover the mouthpiece. Oh, you can just record in the middle this of is, the night when everyone is sleeping. And I say this purely <laughs> for anyone that's a, a novice and you're thinking, you're, you're a beginner, Kabisa, and you want to get into it and you're wondering how can I do it without the complicated gear. Mm -hmm. But then again, once you've advanced, you're getting a huge project, there's need to invest in a, a solid studio yeah. with soundproof equipment, uh, with every uh, microphones that are of international standards. A good yeah. microphone will cost you around 50 Gs to 100 Gs. Mm -hmm. uh, the Sun High Size, the international microphone of the Neumann, so there, there are these things, small details that you need to understand if you want to do it full time. Mm. And that's why people even go for trainings. Yeah, people go coaching. for training. Yeah. Oh, and, and also coaching. And that's yeah. where you come in. You are voice coach. Yeah, so yeah. who are some of the people you have already coached? And how do you go about that? How do people apply for that? Do they pay? Or, uh, yeah, tell us, take us through that. So um, I, I haven't done coaching for long. I started last year, July, mm. where, because a lot of people kept approaching me and saying, you've been doing this, we've been seeing you do this, can you help us know how to get into this? And then I started um, sort of uh, training friends, uh, so pro bono uh, at first. Yeah. And then right now we have, we have a, a group, it's called the Young Kenyan Voice Talent. We have like 230 plus talents mm. that I are ha under me. What? And um, we have, <laughs> yeah, it's huge, I know. We have weekly meetups on Wednesdays by Google where I, I just give lectures free of charge mm. on how to go about the business of voiceover because it is a business on its own. Mm. You need to understand um, the business aspect of it, apart from the talent aspect of it. Yes, you're talented, but how do you manage your, your, your finances? How do you send your invoices? Mm -hmm. How do you make the cold calls mm -hmm. for, to clients to get the jobs? How do you handle your branding, your marketing? It's a very, very important uh, dynamic. I'm, I'm so signing up. Uh, people are signing up. You said it's people uh, keep joining every day. <laughs> we, uh, <laughs> we are signing up. We are signing up. Yeah, so those a, who want to sign up, how do they go about it? Look at look for us, Young Kenyan Voice Talent, on social media. Mm -hmm. uh, on IG, there's a link. Oh, they can just reach. Once you, you just join the link, mm -hmm. I'm there. Oh. Godfather himself. Ah, love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. All right, now as we wind up, uh, there's yeah. one other thing I wanted to know. Like, uh, how do you have that? Um, how do you make sure that you have that one consistent voice yeah. that when everyone or anyone hears it, yeah. they know that is the voice of Mangangi? How do you make sure that? Because you can have, you can be amazing at it, but you have different voices. Like you, the way you sound here is not how you sound here. Yeah. But you, if you need to have that consistency, what do you do? One is a. Um, Quality boils down to quality audio. First of all, if you're going to record with uh, any project, doesn't matter how much the client is paying you, you need to understand that whatever project you're putting out there is going to represent you as a, as a brand. So, if if you've taken a project here for Mili and you say, let me use the phone to record this one, of course it's going to sound different than if it was recorded on a road microphone. Or, or any other type of microphone. So mm -hmm. if you want consistency and people to identify with your voice, one, yeah. use, use quality microphones, use uh, standard uh, microphones for all your projects. Yeah. The other thing is giving it your all. I would say like just give every project your all, mm -hmm. uh, whether it's a low budget, high budget. Sometimes you do projects free to just get yourself out there or even when you're auditioning, because people need to understand that you also audition. You don't learn the job uh, like uh, Henry Mwangang is a voice artist, let's give him the, the job. No, there's so many people that are you, talented. It's as like well. acting. Yeah, it's Even like people acting. like The Rock, everybody knows who he is, but he still auditions. You still have to if go to audition. If you need a role, you still have to go for audition. Exactly. Yeah. Even in voiceover, and the talents will get lots and lots and lots of auditions. So if you want to stand out, just ensure quality, uh, deliver your best, mm. and the rest will come. Exactly. All right, so I want to know one thing as we wind up. I told you we were winding up. So uh, what has been the highest paying job you've ever received and what was it all about? It was a commercial. Mm. I don't know if I'm at liberty to say for whom, but okay. it was last You don't have year. to mention <laughs> the brand. You, can you, you signed non-disclosure agreements. Yeah. It was a commercial that paid me uh, around $2,000 for one job. And it was, what? Yeah, it was amazing. Uh, but I'm on voices.com. People need to understand that you don't have, uh, your, your clients will come from all over the world. Mm, mm. So 
if, if you get an international client, they'll pay you international standards. Oh. Uh, but there are jobs that I've done. So if you, people can sign up for Voices.com if you want it's, it's to a get free, It's a free platform, platform but mm. if you need the exclusive membership, of course, you pay, I think, $500 per year. Oh. Yeah. Okay, 500 for a Kenyan right now, Naeem Chumi is not. I don't 500 know. 500 is around 50 Gs, bro. No, I'm just, okay, not even 60. It's, it's almost around 60, 60 Gs, yeah. Nabile, Sayu Chumiko. But if you want jobs, you gotta use money to get money at the end of the day. True. <laughs> True, true story. Okay, thank you so much for coming through. I know you have a parting shot, probably maybe inspire just people who are just coming up. They don't know how to go about all this. You can probably just tell them something and also tell us something, anything you want to tell us. Um, use camera for. Uh, first of all, I want to shout out uh, all the members of the Young Kenyan Voice Talent awesome. and uh, <laughs> the members of the Voice Actors League of Kenya, which is like... <laughs> Mm. The, the Jennifer Canary, Jazz mm. Mystery, the founders of the Voice Actors League of Kenya, mm. been very uh, instrumental in my journey. Uh, the first major jobs that I got, uh, commercial jobs last year, was through the Voice Actors League of Kenya. Yeah. Then, uh, for those that want to, you know, pursue voiceover as a career, what I would advise you to do is to seek information. It's out there. Literally, we live in an age where all skills are on YouTube, all skills are on the internet, mm -hmm. and you have access to people, uh, coaches, and people that have years of experience, and the best time to get started is today. Don't postpone it. Take a, take a book, take your Bible, whatever script you have in, in the room, record it, um, listen to yourself, have someone else listen to it, get the feedback, mm. repeat, practice makes perfect. All right. I love it. Thank you so much. And of course, thank you so much for coming through. Uh, would love to have you some other time to shed more light on this. It's not a career a lot of people have ventured into, and I feel like it's something that uh, people can actually explore, right? All sure. right, so if you have any shout-outs in your social media, this is also the time to do that. All right. Uh, I'm actually going for, for a meeting with uh, the Animator Society of Kenya. No uh, way. So when I get from here, because we have exciting animation projects uh, mm. coming up. And I want to shout out the Animation, animation uh, Society of Kenya. I did not even know there is Animation Society of Kenya. There yeah, is. It's now we know. Photographer okay. Society of Kenya. Uh, yeah. Shout out to the Young Kenyan Voice Talent, Moriti Nyaga, my family. If you want to uh, find me, I'm the voice of Henry Mongangi across all social media platforms. The voice of Henry Mongangi. So if you have a project known as Afika Bay, hit him up. Yeah. If you want to know more about voice acting, about being a voiceover artist, make sure you do follow him at the voice of Henry Mongangi. And of course, thank you so much for stopping by. We do appreciate that. We love it. Come next time, tell us about uh, all these things. Come on, Ke Kenya Association of uh, Animators. There are so many associations. So many associations. associations. We'd love to know all that. Yeah. All right, let me talk to the guys at home.